gallons in it now, 64 or whatever I just wrote down, just add the 21 to it. Well, I'm a wasted rock ranger. I live a life of danger. On the road. How do you do, everyone? Wasted Rock Ranger trying his second attempt at a, a vlog. So, again, this is just a, a quick ride out just to test the setup and see if I can get something that's going to be of sufficient quality. So, if there's a wind noise again on this, it must be my lid. I must have a windy lid. Anyway, what's been happening? Well, Mrs. Rock Ranger, tell you a story about her, my good lady. Um, the other week she did a CBT. She went off and did a CBT because she's been talking about getting on the bike because it was uh, Mrs. Rock Ranger's idea that I get into biking, which I'll tell you about that at a later date or maybe today, I don't know. Yeah, so since I started biking, Mrs. Rock Ranger has become uh, quite interested in it. And she decided that she was going to go off and do a CBT. Went off and did a CBT. Really enjoyed it. And said she wanted a bike. So did some shopping around. Found one on Auto Trader. Um, had a look at another couple before that one, which I'll, uh, that's another story which I'll tell you at a later date. But um, found this one on Auto Trader. We went down and had a look at it. She liked the look of it. A really good buy and a, and a Yamaha uh, uh, YBR or YBF uh, 125. Only three years old with 3,000 miles on the clock. It looked like it'd been stuck in somebody's garage for the past two years because it had not been taxed since 2011. Price was right, we bought it. I rode it home, picked it up on a Tuesday, rode it home, took her out around the back streets and what did she do? She fell off. Bike was immaculate. So, I have got it on camera and if I get enough requests I will think about uploading it so you can all have a laugh at Mrs Rock Ranger falling off a bike. But fair play to the girl. Uh, she got straight back on and uh, did some more riding around but her confidence has been dinted a little. But it's a step in the right direction anyway getting the missus into biking. I mean it was her idea that I got a bike. I might as well tell you the story now while I'm on with it. Um, at the time, a couple of years ago, we had two Volvos. Finances uh, were a bit tight, as it was with everybody two years ago. When the, the good again. Sorry. Um, yeah, the same with everybody two years ago. Only um, finances were a bit tight, and we had two Volvos. Both needed taxing, insuring and servicing, which weren't cheap, both 200 and odd bloody quid for tax and wheels with bloody 200 quid a wheel, so. And we found we were just spending money on running these two Volvos, so. I'd always liked bikes as a kid. But never got one, due to having an overprotective mother. I mean, my dad was a biker. He had an old BSA A10 Thunderbolt, I think, and used to go to the um, the TT every year with his mates. Yeah, but then when they got me, um, mother made him get rid of the bike, and and what for? So yeah, I'd always liked bikes. 
Oh dear. And like I said, with the um, the cost of the uh, running the two Volvos with the insurance and MOT and, and fuel costs as well. Well, I just said to us one day, she says, right, we're selling the Volvo. My Volvo, not hers, my Volvo. Uh, and you're going to get a bike and commute and do all your travelling on a bike, so we make it cheaper. So after a quick initial protest, oh, hon, do I have to? And I just went, hmm. Okay then. Uh, went off, did my CBT. Thoroughly enjoyed my CBT. Did my part one, part two. And then uh, ended up getting this thing that you see me on, which is my, uh, my Honda VFR 800 VTEC. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. So that's how I got into biking. Um, learned to ride two years ago, 2012, which was a bloody wet summer on record. I got this bike with, um, I think it had 19,000 on the clock, and as you can see, I'm coming up to 36. And that's in two years, so yeah, I have used it. On the back, get yeah, me through that, thank you. Change, 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 thank you. Where are you going through? Yeah, Mr. Corset, or whatever you are. Is that a Renault? I don't know. That was on well read. See, he didn't nod at me over there. That's a bit of bike snobbery, that. He's on the VFR 1200, I'm on an 800. Well, oh, not nod back at an 800. Well, I've got the 1200. Looking around on YouTube. Saw all this Moto vlogging stuff. I mean, I was only doing it, I came across it by accident because I was just looking around to show our last sort of hazards that she faces when she gets on the bike. And saying, you know, this is what you've got to look out for. I'm going to swear in, I don't often want to swear in, but yeah, you've got to look out for fuckwits in cars. That won't see you and will pull out on you. Why are you indicating? Are you staying there? Right, are you going to go there or are you going to stay in this lane? No, are you staying in this lane? See what I mean about fuckwits out in cars? Oh, swore again. Yeah, you're not making progress there. You've been indicating to go into the left, which you haven't done. And all you're doing is just swerving around in the lanes. And now you're coming up to a speed camera. Are you going to slow down for that? Have you seen the speed camera? No, he's slowing down now. Oh, he's, he's halfway through speed camera. He, he realises he's at a speed camera and slows down. Right, what are you going to do? Are you going to stay there or are you going to move over? What are you going to do? Stay there and move over. Come on, Mr Jazz. Oh, he's moving over. Well done. Hey, oh, is it? No, no, it's a she. Let's get past Mr. Golf because I'm coming off here. My indicator on. Check my indicators. Oh, what's happening there? Run out of fuel. But I'm also more impatient when I'm driving because I can't do things like this. I'm pushing and get to the front. Hello. Anyway, Mrs. Rock Range will be looking at these vids, so I better not do too much bloody leching. Right, yeah, big buses having two lanes. Well, I can just get in front of you like that. Keep uh, a no, 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 What are you doing? Picking your ass. Yeah, have a good break. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that is 50 shades of Leeds that. 
Yeah, yeah what I hope all to do is, um, on these logs, is, is just... It, it just show you around my neck at woods. No, no, I live quite close to Squires, which is, is a what is it? A magnet for for all those two wheelers, especially in the, in the summer. And there's some great ride outs from there. And there's some great roads around Yorkshire if you get off the main roads. Just to show you some of the roads that are around here, but you don't have to go around. Uh, Down to the uh, the south of France or to Spain or um, to find good biking roads, you know, they're right here on your doorstep. Well, here I am. You put 62 gallons in it now, 64 or whatever I just wrote down, just add the 21 to it.